Disgrace Hollywood movie mogul Harvey Weinstein has been indicted again in New York. Let's discuss. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, a.k.a. the Florida lawman here on True Crime MTN. Let's talk about Harvey Weinstein. In the last video I did on him, we talked about the reports that he was going to be indicted for additional crimes that is over and above the ones he was indicted for last time in New York. Now, just to bring you up to speed, remember that Harvey Weinstein was indicted for various counts of sexual assault and other things in both New York and California. He was convicted in both places. Both sent, In both places, he was sentenced to years in prison. And the New York High Court then overturned Harvey Weinstein's conviction because in a four to three ruling, they ruled that the court should not have admitted some evidence of other women who were alleging similar things to the victims in the case. These are women who are not part of the case. And whenever you bring up other uh, women in a case of sexual assault, you have to be very careful because you cannot show other bad acts to prove that they committed this crime. It's called propensity evidence. You can't show, look, he's a bad guy because he did that, so he must have done this. No, what you can use it for is to show a pattern, an MO, and it's gotta be pretty specific. And here the court in New York said, now, too loose, the other additional uh, allegations are too loosely tied to this one. There's no specific pattern or MO that has been proven. Uh, and so it shouldn't have been admitted. And as a result, by a four to three vote, the high court threw his conviction out. Now, it did not mean he would go free because he's still stuck in the California sentence because he was found guilty there too. That has not been overturned. They, only the New York case has been overturned. And then prosecutors said, well, not only are we going to retry the case in New York, but we're going to add on new counts. And we don't yet know in this new indictment if those new counts were added because the indictment is sealed. According to CNN, the indictment detailing the allegations will likely remain sealed until Weinstein is arraigned. It could include sexual assault allegations from three women, prosecutors said at a separate hearing last week. The disgraced movie mogul was not present at the Thursday hearing because he was not medically cleared to attend after an emergency procedure on his heart and lungs earlier this week. Weinstein was being treated in the intensive care unit at Bellevue Hospital until Wednesday, his attorney Arthur Idala said. Prosecutors began presenting a case to the grand jury in mid-August. They did not identify the three accusers by name, but described their allegations at the hearing last week. One alleged assault occurred at a residential building in Lower Manhattan in the winter months between 2005 and 2006, prosecutors said. Another accuser is said to have been sexually assaulted in a hotel in Tribeca in May 2016. A third woman has alleged Weinstein sexually assaulted her at the Tribeca Grand Hotel, according to the hearing transcript. A source with knowledge of the matter told CNN that alleged assault is said to have occurred during 2006. Some grammatical issues here with this CNN story. Prosecutors have said the new indictment is not tied to Jessica Mann and Mimi Haley, whose allegations are tied to the charges Weinstein is set to be retried on November 12th. So it looks like there are new charges here in this new indictment, in addition to the original charges. That's the one involving Jessica Mann and Mimi Haley. They were the original victims. And Weinstein is likely to be retried on their counts on their allegations but now it looks like there are additional allegations he's gonna have to face up to and that goes in the category be careful what you wish for because weinstein won his case overturned on appeal and he got it and now as a result he's going to face potentially more years in prison not that he was ever going to get out as a, a guy in his early 70s who is facing serious medical conditions i mean he's essentially been given a life sentence when you combine the California and the New York sentences. But here, I mean, the prosecutors are just ready to bring the pain. 
And they don't have to apparently use the extrinsic evidence, the evidence of other bad acts to help prove this, especially if they have new allegations coming from women who are going to speak up. And, you know, that's not too surprising because when it comes to sexual assault, that is an underreported crime. And when you have someone who is now going to be in prison no matter what in California, for example, then you have women who are fearless about coming forward now. Whereas before they may say, hey, what happens if he goes free? What happens if he is if he is acquitted? So that gives extra strength, perhaps, to women who otherwise would not have been able to find their voices. But it looks like this is going to be game on and we'll find out at his arraignment. That's when he's going to have to plead guilty or not guilty. It will be not guilty. That's generally what happens. And then we'll find out, it'll be unsealed, and we'll find out the extent of these new charges. But it's only going to go from bad to worse for Harvey Weinstein, even though he did get that temporary victory in the high court of New York, barely four to three, but he did get that victory. But it's going to unravel soon enough for this guy. According to CNN, the DA's office wants to combine the two cases. Yes, they want this whole thing tried at once, add the additional alleged victims to the case involving the two known victims, Jessica Mann and Mimi Haley. Prosecutors could be ready to try Weinstein on the new indictment in November with all of our survivors, Blumberg said in court. That's quick. A November trial when the indictments were just mentioned today, just here in early September, and now they could go to trial as early as November, in part because they've already tried it once before. There's less of a need to build up with discovery, but if you have new victims, then yeah, that's the type of thing that could slow things down, that the defense will probably try to extend uh, the trial, try to postpone it. It's what defense lawyers generally do. And not surprisingly, Weinstein's lawyer doesn't think they can go to trial in November. According to CNN, Idala vehemently opposed the idea, calling it laughable to suggest it was ethical for Weinstein's defense counsel to defend him on the new indictment two months from now. Quote, we are ready to defend whatever comes our way. It's just a little odd for us to be so in the dark at this point that we really don't know what is coming our way with any degree of specificity, Idella told reporters after the hearing. So let's recap. Harvey Weinstein, who was convicted first in 2020 in New York, he got 23 years in prison. He then was convicted in California in 2022, where he got 16 years in prison. The New York case was overturned, not the California case. Prosecutors now went back. They have new victims to create a new indictment, and they want to combine the original case that was overturned with the new case, and they want to go to trial in November. Arthur Idala, the lawyer for Weinstein, says, no way can we be ready in time. No matter what happens, though, the California case still remains. Harvey Weinstein, 72 years old, uh, I think will never see the light of day again unless they have a compassionate release at the end if he's about to die. Uh, this is quite a fall for a guy who was at the top of the heap when it comes to Hollywood and movies and the Academy Awards. When it came to the Oscars, how many times did an actor receive an award and say, thank you, Harvey Weinstein? And he sat there beaming. I mean, Shakespeare in Love and all these other movies. Well, uh, there is no more Harvey Weinstein in Hollywood. There are no more thank yous to him at the Oscar podium. So that is the latest in the case against Harvey Weinstein. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, a.k.a. the Florida Lawman. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that subscription button, and share with a friend. Thank you for getting us well over 56,000 subscribers. And leave a comment below. I love seeing your comments, even when you disagree with me. And I'll see you next time.